During the winter months for Minnesotans, getting our hands on fresh food can be a little difficult. But it's the old world mm. ways that can help. Savory sweets, simple preserves from a northern kitchen, showcases old world Danish traditions melding with the freshest ideas and latest techniques to try to turn each season's produce into a bounty. And joining us this morning, authors Beth Dooley and Meta Nielsen. Thank you guys for coming in. Great oh, to see you. Great to be Thank here. You. Thank you. Beth, this mm -hmm. idea has really been very trendy over the last couple of years, hasn't it? Who would have guessed that the old world canning and preserving, that that would be so hot? Exactly. You know, it's kind of an extension of the interest in farmers markets. Oh, sure. You know, that are booming. And if people are like me where they go to the farmers markets and they fall in love with all this fresh produce inevitably I schlep home way more For sure. than I know what to do. Yes. And Matt is an intrepid gardener and there's so many wonderful gardeners in the Twin Cities it's like what do you do with all this stuff? It's so fun to grow but then what do you do? So did you two get together and say like okay we've got all this stuff yeah our recipes are amazing we yeah. have to share them with everyone <laughs> is that how that goes? Yeah. Exactly. Well you know it's kind of like that but mm -hmm. we also we have small kitchens we don't have a lot of time. And so we thought there has to be a quicker, easier way to do this. Neither of us were interested in standing over a hot stove in the middle of you know, mm. August and, and trying to put up millions of jars of, of tomatoes. So how do you do it? How do you do it? You yeah. know, so you're not spending all day. And um, you know, as Meta says, we have refrigerators. So you don't have to put up enough to fill your you know, shelves down yeah. in the basement. Yeah. Right? Um, so everything is um, can be in the refrigerator or in the freezer. And and that just makes it that much easier. Exactly. Beth, Beth has written a number of books about food in, right. in Minnesota yeah. and recipe developing. Uh, tell us, tell well, us about Well, so we you. got together because I've been a food photographer for 35, however many years. Mm -hmm. um, and that's how we originally met many years ago. And, uh, and I like the idea of preserving the food. I have a big garden. Uh, but I don't have a big household. Yeah. And you can only eat so much salt. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Right. You gotta but I, I didn't like the idea of that you had to be so precise. I'm not a baker. I'm not a precise cook. So mm -hmm. I like to just like, kind of play around. But it's not safe to do that if you do the traditional yeah. canning. So what you did you bring? It looks beautiful. So we have a, a whole bunch of different things. Uh, this is a tomato jam. This is a curried tomato ketchup. Ooh. We have yeah. sweet, so people can see it. sweet hot peppers yeah. from my garden. Those look really uh, good. Garlic mm -hmm. chutney, which is awesome, uh, from the garden as well. We have a zucchini onion relish, and we have a um, cherry maple uh, relish. And the joy of these things is that they can be used like we're doing here exactly. at a cheese board, but they can yes. be used in so many ways, Matt. Exactly. I mean, that's, that's the fun part, and they take very little time to put up. It takes about 20 minutes to make most of these. Really? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You don't need fancy equipment. We make them in a 10-inch skillet. Oh, and they're quick and ready to go. You put them in the refrigerator, and then when friends drop by and say, "Hey, you know, come by for a glass of wine," and you haven't even thought about what you're going to do, boom. you put Pulse them out, them out. And boom, yeah. cool. and they think you're a genius. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you can meet Beth and Metro tomorrow at a meet and greet and tasting at Scout and Morgan Books in Cambridge. That's from 11 in the morning until 1 in the afternoon, and come by the book and say hi and meet the authors. Thanks, guys. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks so much. You know the photos are good mm -hmm. when you've got the food yeah, photographer. Yeah, they're gorgeous. <laughs> yeah.